I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get started. Welcome to MLB 101. My name's Austin Huff. I usually like to start my day off with some Joe. Namath and Madden. Careful though, Madden. He might try and kiss you. I want to kiss you. Hi. <laughs> I want to kiss you. He might try and kiss you. ESPN dropped their body issue this week, which is awesome. Kind of. If you're into all that. The two people represented by Major League Baseball in this year's issue were Yasiel Puig and Dallas Keuchel. You know, one of the most muscular players in baseball, and Dallas Keuchel. An absolute chiseled beast of a man, and Dallas Keuchel. The wild horse, and Dallas Keuchel. I mean, seriously, when ESPN sat down to talk about who they wanted in this year's body issue, who was it that threw out Dallas Keuchel? Does Dallas Keuchel's wife work for ESPN the magazine? Heck, I doubt she'd even want to see him naked. Hey. I mean, Dallas Keuchel? Dallas Keuchel? Dallas Keuchel? Hey, no offense to Dallas Keuchel, but he's Dallas Keuchel. Not exactly an Adonis. He's not really the Statue of David. He's not exactly Cristiano Ronaldo. I love Puig's quote about it, too. He says, since I play baseball, I don't need a sexy body. Ain't that the truth, huh? Hey, eh, Prince Fielder? He's a big man. It's like he's reaching on the top shelf of the pantry. You can't tell me this guy's a vegan. Also, I've got one more question. Can I be in next year's body issue? All right, really crazy story here. There was a body found in the cooler in Atlanta Braves ballpark, SunTrust Park. I don't know if I SunTrust them anymore. The body of a third party contractor had been found inside a beer cooler at the Atlanta Braves ballpark. Man, it's a, it's a chilling story. Uh, okay, not, that wasn't intended. I mean, my question is like, how did they find the body? I mean, it was one of the concessions where it's like, what kind of beer would you like? We've got Bud, Bud Light, uh, my coworker Dave, Dave? Archie Bradley's one of the best closers in the game. He's also one of the crappiest. He went on a Yahoo Sports MLB podcast with Tim Brown to explain. I was warming up to go in a game and um, I knew I had the next hitter. I knew he was on deck. And the bat was kind of taking a little bit. And, you know, as a bullpen guy in these big situations, I call them nervous peas. I don't have to pee a lot, but I know I have to pee before I go in the game. I can't believe I'm telling you this. So <laughs> it's a 2-2 count, and I'm like, man, I have to pee. I have to go pee. So I run in our bathroom real quick. I'm ready to go, and I'm trying to pee, and I actually <laughs> my pants. Oh. Like, right before I'm about to go in the game, I pooped my pants. Okay. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, I know I'm a pitcher away from going in the game, so I'm scrambling to clean myself up. <laughs> I get it cleaned up the best I can, button my pants up, and our bullpen coach, Mike Ferris, said, hey, you're in the game. So I'm jogging into the game to pitch with poop in my pants. Hopefully he was facing the cleanup hitter. That was awful. Sammy Sosa's on the cover of Sports Illustrated almost 20 years to the week after his last cover. Only this time he's donning the cover of the annual Where Are They Now issue. AKA sports are super slow here in the dead of summer, so we need some page filling stories issue. Except something tells me that when Sammy Sosa is featured in the Where Are They Now issue, they're legitimately asking, like, where is Sammy now? What? What? No, seriously, where is he? Get his face on the cover of a milk carton, preferably chocolate milk, or at least strawberry milk. Now I want to get to a segment called, Is That Ichiro? I'll bring up a picture and do a deep investigation as to whether or not it's Ichiro. Picture one, is that Ichiro? Honestly, I can't tell. This is the part where you mark the Scantron bubble, letter D, not enough information. I mean, sure, yeah, it maybe looks like Ichiro, but you really can't jump to conclusions here. Let's look at another picture. This comes from the guys at Cespedes Family Barbecue. Is that Ichiro? Verdict? No. No, it's not. Mm. You wanna know how I can tell? I'll give you a hint. You know how like on Maury, whenever they'd have those like, is this a man or a woman episodes, you'd always have to look for the Adam's apple? Man or woman? That's a woman. That's a woman? Yes. Just look at her. Do you see anything that gives it away? It looks like an Adam apple, I don't know. <laughs> well, we're trying to figure out if it's Ichiro or not, you have to look at the ears. If the earlobes are attached, it's Ichiro. If they're not attached, it's not Ichiro. And if the ears are on upside down, it's Cam Newton. All right, that does it for this episode. I'm out. I'll shave. I can shave. I would shave for ESPN body issue. I would even get maybe like a tattoo. I'd be a unicorn. 
Or maybe I wouldn't. Who knows? It's definitely a man. Look at her muscles. They're bulging out. Well, wait a minute. You don't think women go into the gym Not and like her body builders? Look at her chest. It's like out there. Okay, I'm gonna put my shirt back on.